Okay, y'all, so I saw on here on TikTok Life with Paige Nicole, she had this cute little food shredder, and I decided to get me one from Amazon. This is the box, and I'm just gonna, um, I got it all put together here, and it was pretty simple to put together, and you can lock it on your countertop, so you can see I'm moving it. It's not going anywhere. I'm gonna try to shred some cheese. It also came with the smaller shredder, and I think this is for like slices or something and a little cleaning brush. So here we go. I love fresh shredded cheese, but I hate shredding it. So let's see how this works. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go the other way. Oh, okay. I had to go the other way. Okay. Now it's working. That's neat. And then you can get your little thing and it goes right on top. Mm. That's so cool. I love it. See this? We want this, we love this, we need this, but this, yeah, we don't need this. My silicone mat that has a ton of uses, is durable, and is probably the one thing that will make your life a whole lot easier in your kitchen. At number two is my see-through toaster, ensuring that you will never burn your toast again. This is how I organize under my sink. I replaced my bin with this huge Lazy Susan. I use command spray hooks on the door, bins for my cloths and my trash bag, and this adhesive bin for my dishwasher pods. Today I will share with you this plastic bag resealer that uses heat to keep your snacks and your food airtight and fresh. So let me show you how it works. Simply slide the sealer across the bag, and there you go. This is my all-time favorite kitchen find. This is a silicone strainer that will attach to any pot. Let me show you. Just bend to fit the size and then you clip the sides down, like that. Now you can just tip it over to strain the water out and you don't have to take anything out of the pot. It's so easy. When was the last time you organized under your kitchen sink? To use your cabinet height to your advantage, make sure you're utilizing as much space as possible by stacking bins or getting these pull-out drawer organizers from Target. There's nothing worse than running out of my favorite cleaning products, so I always like to keep a back stock. And then for the drawers, I do keep my detergent pods on top since that's what I reach for the most. These bins are actually shoe drawers from the container store, but they have so many different uses around your home. And lastly, on the inside door, I keep my veggie brush and the the best sponges of all time, Scrub Daddy, you have to try them. kitchen cut resistant kevlar gloves i got 21 stitches in my hands from a knife accident and you know what could have helped kevlar gloves perfect for when you're using a mandolin or when you're cutting something tough like a pumpkin but you still need to be careful no they're not heat proof or puncture proof i'm going to show you how to save hundreds of dollars when adding or replacing cabinet poles the black farmhouse poles i wanted were seven dollars each I bought square wooden dowels at Home Depot and these square wooden blocks at Hobby Lobby and used a 40% off coupon. I wanted the cabinet poles to be 6 inches long each, so I lined up all of the dowels and drew a line at 6 inches on each line. I then used my circular saw to cut each of the pieces. It's important that each piece is as straight as possible. I used wood glue to add a wooden cube 1 inch from the top and 1 inch on the bottom on each of the poles. I let this glue dry for a few hours, then lined them up and spray painted them with black satin spray paint. This is what they all looked like before I hung them up. I take off all of the old poles and put the new ones on using the same screws. I also used a level to make sure they're all straight. This project only took a few hours to complete and I saved $240 by making them myself. I was so excited to make crepes today with my new crepe maker. It is literally so easy to use. As you can see, all I did was dip the pan into the pancake mix. It cooks it in about 20 seconds because it's so thin. I use chopsticks, but you can use a spatula to remove it too. You can eat it just like that with maple syrup, but I stuffed mine with bananas and chocolate today. Fold in half and fold in half again. The powdered sugar and whipped cream is of course optional if you're trying to reduce your sugar intake, but I decided to splurge today. Try it, you might like it.
oh my god, I just got the most life-changing Amazon product in the mail and I have to share it with you. I hate cutting onions. I literally cry profusely every time. So I got the veggie chop and this is a game changer. What you do is you peel your onion, then cut it in half once and then throw the rest into the chopper and watch it do its magic. You're going to want to see this. Pick up the circle thing in the middle, pull on it a few times and it'll chop your onions, garlic, peppers, whatever you want to put in it as fine as you want. It's so satisfying. I'm obsessed and I don't think I'll ever cut an onion again in my life. Watch me prep my fruits and vegetables for the week with the help of my prep deck. The prep deck has a built-in cutting board which makes cutting the fruits and vegetables super easy. It comes with really cool gadgets like this, so cutting my cucumbers nowadays is pretty easy. The prep deck comes with its own discard shelf so you can discard all those parts of the veggies that you don't eat and you can throw away later. They also come with smaller containers so it's easy to pair your favorite dips and sauces with your favorite veggies. When it's time to clean up, you just take out that shelf and throw away and it's easy as that. To wash the cutting board, just simply disconnect it and then it easily magnetizes back. And it folds up for easy storage in the fridge. Stop scrolling because you probably need this. This is a touchless trash can and vacuum all in one. Not only is it hands free to open, but has an automatic vacuum feature at the bottom of the can for instant cleanup. You can sweep directly into the sensor and it effortlessly sucks up all the crumbs. They go into a bagless canister for easy disposal. These touch free soap dispensers. This outlet wall mount stand for Alexa. This craft paper note roll. These battery operated under cabinet lights. This hot lid rack. This is my handheld veggie cutter, and it's perfect for easily cutting veggies into quarters. It's safe, easy to use, and works in a matter of seconds. This is great for meal preps, salads, veggie platters, and will save you a lot of time. I'm obsessed with these stackable containers for organizing my kitchen. I love everything to have a place, and these allow me to do that. They come in a multitude of sizes, and the lids are great. They seal super tight. And I labeled them with these adorable cursive stickers. I think this pack comes with over 300 options, which is amazing. I even have the weird gluten-free stuff, which I needed. And my most beautiful kitchen appliance, my ARC water carbonator. I think it's self-explanatory, but I love this. Recently, I added these little hooks to the inside of a drawer so we could organize all our keys. Genius! We've had this cheese board for years. I love that it's magnetic, which means more room for cheese on the board.